What do you do when people don't believe in you, right? First off, don't listen to them. Don't listen to anybody. Just focus, put your head down. But listen to the story. Back in college, I played baseball at the University of Maryland. I was a starting center fielder. I got hurt, got back surgery. Came back, played my senior year, thinking maybe I'm gonna play pro ball. The season comes around, I'm getting ready to go and play. And every year they bring in all these top prospects. Guess what? There's three out there positions. That's where I play. I'm not even starting. What? Dude, I'm so upset. My coach doesn't believe in me. He thinks I'm out. He's starting everybody else. So we go. First game, we're out in, in Florida and we're playing this big tournament and there's all these scouts and we're hitting batting practice and I just start mashing. Like, hit like five home runs, a few like line drives over the left. And all these scouts went over to my coach and like, who's this guy? Blah, 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 blah. My coach goes, he crosses off a name and puts me in the starting lineup and then puts me in there because of somebody else's opinion, not because of his. And I was so pissed off at him. Bottom line is, I never sat at a game. I was the only one to play every game that season had the highest average, most home runs, crushed it, and that guy never believed in me. I believed in myself. So don't let somebody's opinion bring you down. Trust your own instincts, believe in yourself, and then when you do it and make it happen, you'll see it all flock to you. So now I wrote this book, Million Dollar Identity. We're giving it away for free. Check somewhere, we're giving instructions on how you can get it, and we'll send it to you at your door for free.